Hey everyone, today I have a review on a very useful car tool. This is a torque wrench, but it can also double as a cross wrench because the arm holding the socket is able to slide down the long arm, allowing it to have a faster removal of the lug nut. So this two-in-one cross torque wrench comes in this very nice hardened plastic case. So opening it up, you are greeted with five components. So first of which is the long arm, which would facilitate the actual um, torquing of the sockets. And you can see that the scale is on the handle and it is in Newton meters. So you're going to have to do some conversions if you are used to foot pounds. The conversion is simply one foot pound is equal to 1.36 Newton meters. And if you want to have some kind of online conversion for you, I'll put a link below where you can simply put in the numbers. So the range of this torque wrench is 70 to 170 Newton meters or 50 to 130 foot pounds. Using this turn dial at the very end of the handle, you can uh, change the torque rating. So moving it um, clockwise will increase it and moving it counterclockwise will decrease it. It moves in increments of 2 newton meters and it is ready to have a 4% accuracy. But more on that a little bit later. The next item here is the shorter arm that houses the actual socket. So this would um, loop right in between the long arm and you press down on this button to lock in place. And of course, if you want to use it as a cross wrench, you just slide that middle piece down, lock it in place again with that button, and you can see there's a much freer range of rotating motion for faster lug nut removals once it is loosened. So in terms of sockets that it provides, it comes in the three typical sizes. So it has the 17 millimeter, 19 millimeter, and 21 millimeter, which translates to 11 and 16 inch, 3 quarter inches, and 13 16 inch sizes. So now let's go ahead and see it in action. Right here I'm going to be removing my wheel lock on one of my wheels. Um, if you don't know, wheel locks tend to have a lower torque rating than other lug nuts because of the way that the pattern is designed. So you don't want to over torque this thing or you could screw up the key. Did a whole video on wheel locks. If you're interested, check out my channel. But anyways, if you want to remove the wheel lock, you just gotta um, adjust the torque wrench that's a slightly higher torque than what you have it torqued to currently to loosen it up. And then you can see I slid down the middle section to change it to a cross torque wrench for a faster removal. So now let's go ahead and put that wheel lock back on. So you just go ahead and as usual hand turn it on as much as you can and then go ahead and um, adjust the torque wrench to the setting that you need. First I use it in the cross formation for easier turns and then afterwards I adjust it to the longer end to make that final um, click. So if you haven't noticed already, this is an entirely mechanical based torque wrench. There are electronic ones these days you can find uh, for a much higher price. But because it's completely mechanical, that clicking sound is how you know that you have reached that torque rating that you have adjusted the wrench to. And of course, once you're finished, you can easily disassemble it with just a few movements back into the case, snap it and close, and you can just leave it in the trunk of your car if you so choose. So in terms of build quality, I absolutely think this is fantastic. Um, it is made out of some very durable chrome vanadium steel. Um, so it has pretty good wear and rust resistance. Love that you can easily convert it to a cross style wrench. One thing to note is that it will only offer the correct um, torque rating if you do it in the positive as in the clockwise direction. So if you use the counterclockwise, it's going to still click no matter um, what torque rating you have on it. So the click sound is really meant to only be used for tightening. In other words, if you use it in the counterclockwise fashion, the click mechanism will not work properly. So just some small suggestions for the manufacturer was that they made that positive click rating um, very clear in some kind of instruction manual. I know it's pretty self-explanatory um, for most people, but if they had just included some kind of quick instruction, maybe tape onto the interior of the case that would have been nice and also to have the option have a, a separate scale for the pound foot rating because if you're going to sell it in the u.s market most likely you want to have it in the imperial units as well so if you think this is going to fit your need go ahead and check out the link in the description for the product